it is the 19th of the 1st, 2013. And I just wanted to get this on record. This just came out um, from the Assumption Paris Police Jury. I will, of course, attach the links below. Office of Conservation in consultation with Assumption Paris. Incident Command is advising that Texas Brine Facility sinkhole appears to be undergoing a growth event. Indicated by a recent upswing in measured seismic activity that began to decrease about the time of this morning's release of debris and crude oil to the top of the sinkhole, as well as the appearance of cracks on the surface of the Oxy-3 well pad located directly above Texas Brine failed, failed cavern and on the eastern side of the sinkhole. Monitoring of the seismic activity and direct field observations from ground level and overflights are part of the ongoing response to determine the potential extent of this latest growth event. One of several observed since the formation of the sinkhole. Observations indicate that the current growth event is centered on the east side of the sinkhole, possibly related to a shifting of salt and material with, within the cavern collapse zone. After a period of heightened activity, the number and strength of sharp seismic events dropped markedly, markedly following the release of debris and hydrocarbons from the sinkhole. Through the impact and the surfaces on the eastern side of the sinkhole will continue to be monitored closely. Following the appearance of the well pad surface cracks on the southwest corner of Oxy-3 well pad, did you hear that? Following the appearance of the well pad surface cracks on the southwestern corner of Oxy-3 well pad, the Office of Conservation advised that personnel and equipment should be removed from the site to ensure safety while observation and analysis of the growth event are ongoing. Though the exact timing extent uh, of the uh, growth event cannot be predicted, the Office of Conservation and its consultants have identified the Oxy-3 well pad as being within the area of potential sinkhole growth and has maintained constant monitoring of subsurface conditions and activity for signs of instability in order to act quickly to protect the safety of the public and workers on the site. Don't you feel better about that, kids? Now, over on e, &E News, this is where the way they actually broke it. I'm going to go over to uh, some of the comments here. Uh, where was it, where was it, where was it? Uh, Rain Bodias lives close to the actual sinkhole. You are correct, Byron. They did do a flyover today, a very long one, but never publicized it. To me, that is very telling. This is the first time they did not publish a flyover. So definitely a heads up, something is very much going on down in Louisiana uh, as we speak. So uh, time to pay attention. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.